Hi, my name is Matthew, aka EasyBot, and today I'm going to show you how to make a kick drum on the Empress Zoya Euro Burrow. Kick drum synthesis is pretty simple. It's a decay envelope that you attach to the pitch of an oscillator and also take that envelope to a VCA and that's it. There's lots you can do after the fact. You can add distortion, you could use complex waveforms as your oscillator, you could use compressors or transient shapers, add a sub bass, the list goes on. But we're going to make a really simple kick drum just to kind of show you how to use the Euroboro and how you can make drums on it actually fairly quickly or synthesize most anything on it pretty easily. The Euroboro is kind of a modular synth and a modular synth. That's often what it's called. And uh, I agree with that statement. It really is a modular synth in a modular synth. It reminds me of Bitwig's The Grid. It's like the ultimate utility module. You can build whatever you want in it. You can build effects, you can build synthesizers, you can build polyphonic synthesizers, you can build sequencers, you could build a sampler of some sort or crazy loopers, and you can emulate just about any sound you can think of. Let me help you with this small synthesis tutorial and hopefully it will help you get started on your journey with the Euroboro. You can place a, a module anywhere on the grid and it will bring up this menu here. We're going to select audio modules and grab an oscillator. So the oscillator that we want is a sine wave generator, which is already what it's currently set to. That's the default uh, waveform option that you have on an oscillator. And typically with kick drums, you want to use sine waves, or that's the most common way to make a kick drum, I should say. And it sounds just fine. But you can use any oscillator that you'd like and it will create more harmonic content, of course, as the more complex the wave shape. So right now a kick drum is just the single fundamental, so just one tone, and it will make a very clean sounding kick drum. There won't be very much to it, just a thump. Um, and that's kind of what we want, and that's what we're going to do in this example. But we're also going to grab the duty cycle. So we're going to turn this on. The duty cycle is the pulse width of the oscillators in the Euroboro. The sine wave will become wider and essentially no longer be a sine wave. It will be a more complex waveform. So it will make more sound, essentially. We're going to use that as a function to make our kick drum have more thump to it if we need it to. So now we need an envelope generator. So we're going to go into control modules and scroll up to the top here and select an ADSR. Now we don't want to take the full value of our envelope directly into our oscillator, so we want to attenuate it a little bit. We're going to grab a CV mixer to bring down the value of this envelope generator's output. So I'm place another module on the grid and back into control modules and all the way at the bottom is the CV mixer. We only need one channel as it offered us and we'll take that. So now we're going to take the output, which is down here, the output of our envelope generator, and we're going to plug that into the input of our CV mixer. And if we press in the middle module here, we can see this fader, which controls how much of this envelope we're going to let pass through the CV mixer. So now we're going to take the output of the CV mixer and plug that into the input of our oscillator's pitch. But let's bring up a little bit of the value of that envelope so that the envelope affects the pitch a little bit. And right now we can't hear anything because we haven't plugged this oscillator into our V... We haven't plugged the oscillator into a VCA and then taken that VCA and plugged it into our audio yet. So I'm doing that on purpose because it won't sound like anything we want to listen to until we have a VCA and the envelope triggering that VCA. So as I'm talking about it, let's grab a VCA. So let's put another module down here. And in audio modules, we're going to select VCA and we only need one in, one out. That works for me. VCAs are voltage controlled amplifiers. This is what we're going to use to control how much the loudness of our sound or how much audio passes or how much of the sound you hear, essentially. We're going to use the envelope generator that we were already using, but we're going to use its unattenuated output. So we're just going to use the full envelope and we're going to send that into the input of our VCA. Sorry, right here in the center here. So now what we need to do is trigger the gate of our envelope generator to hear the sound that we've created so far, which is kind of going to be a thump at this point. So I'm going to use one of these triggers right here. So I'm going to take this trigger and I'm going to program it to trigger the envelope generator. And now we're going to take this VCA output and put it in the left and right channels. 
First, we have to make sure our oscillator output is going into our VCA. You can hear that there's kind of a crazy uh, car engine kind of sound. And uh, what we need to do is change our envelope. So I'm going to go over to our envelope generator here. I'm going to bring the attack all the way down. And if I go to the decay and I hold shift and hit the I button here, I can actually see my envelope shape, which is really useful. And I think it should, by default, always be this way. I don't, maybe that'll come in an update. Um, and then I'm going to bring down the sustain level and the release level. And now we're going to have a different sound. It's getting a little bit closer. It's kind of like a video game snare-ish. There we go. I got kind of lucky there. I just uh, brought the, uh, the depth of my envelope that's going to the pitch up just the right amount, and I landed right on a kick. So it sounds like an analog kick, even though this isn't an analog module. This is the same idea that you would get from an analog kick. There's lots of things you could do to process it. Let's go ahead and play with that duty cycle thing that I had mentioned earlier and see how it changes the sound. So it gets a lot grittier. Very gritty. Now it's back to kind of that video game clunky sound that we had when we first started. I'm going to bring it back down to 50% because I thought it sounded just like a nice clean kick. There's a lot more that you can do from here. As you can see, you're pretty unlimited with whatever you want to design. There's lots of fantastic ideas people have put on patch storage, and I highly recommend you check that out. You could uh, add a compressor to this to really bring out the transient of your kick. You could add a distortion to that. You could change when you put the distortion, before or after the compressor. There's lots of interesting ideas for you to explore that you could glean from DAW tutorials on the internet and then apply them to the Euroboro. That's something I enjoy doing. So um, yeah, I hope that this inspired you to take a look at the Empress Soya Euroboro. And if you already have one, I hope it helped you get to know it just a little bit better. My name's Matthew. I'll see you around. Mm -hmm.